What's going on, everybody? I am the Game Sam, and welcome to those nights at Rachel's. Now, Nixon really outdid himself with the demo, and he really impressed me with this game so far. So let's go ahead and start a new game and see what we're up against now. Whoa. Username, password. Let's try something. Hold on. And then password. Okay, I just put in my game jolt password because I don't know if it wants something from me or if that's a secret. Hello and welcome to your new job, Doug's and Rachel's. We have the best animatronics and food available at the lowest prices. Straight up guarantee. Since this is your first night at the job, we'll connect you to a live call with our call. He'll be your guide for the first night. Have fun. I will! Accident Family Pizzeria. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Are you there? Uh, hi. Uh, you must be the new night guard. Well, uh, if that's the case, which it probably is, then I'm supposed to help you with our amazing technology. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit cheesy, but you get the point, right? Well, for starters, the company thinks that putting up security cameras in practically any corner is going to help, and honestly, I don't think it will, with what you're going to have to deal with. Uh, but anyway, you can switch the security feed using the click of our standardized mouse that the company put out. <laughs> That's one way to describe it. It's really old, but uh, we'll get through it. But uh, let me tell you, the power bill has been expensive with almost every damn night card. So, hopefully, by limiting the power, you won't be like them. <laughs> Nevertheless, you can track the power on the secondary monitor, and for God's sakes, do not break it. Honestly, I feel like I'm repeating myself at this point. Power is usually measured through the closable doors in your office, which can be closed at any time using the Z and X keys. And you'll need to shut them as soon as something uh, desirable may appear. Uh, you probably don't know what I mean, which in that case, it's probably for the better. But oh. anyway, don't leave them shut. I won't. Uh, all right, a few Maybe. more things, and then I can set you on your way. We okay. actually have a spare room next to your office. Oh, yeah! It's been deserted for some time. However, we used to allow employees oh. to go in there, okay. but I, uh, uh mm -hmm. kind of had an accident in there. Uh, needless to say, don't ever let those curtains open all the way. And if you by chance actually see anything, or anyone back there, uh, don't go telling the media. Okay. Oh. We've had some rough edges in the past, and probably even more than I've seen myself. Uh -huh. uh, long story short, always close the curtains. Don't ever ask Sorry? why either. It's just company rule. Honestly, I <laughs> even know myself. You can walk there using the W key. Oh, um, if an animatronic, specifically a raccoon and the, the, the thing from the curtains, Find their way into your office. You can't hide from them. Somehow they have increased awareness. Uh huh. Probably some sort of uh, developing mistake. Uh huh. Uh, it's best not to think about it too much. So uh, yeah, that'll set you on your way. Close the cur. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. One more thing. If two of our amazing animatronics somehow managed to uh, find their way to both of your doors. We found a small trick for that. Hiding under the desk seems to actually help, and even save my life. I mean, uh, my job. Well, uh, yeah, oh. it helped me save my job one time. Oh! So, uh, yeah, close the curtains. Oh! Under the building, on the flashlight, hide under the desk, and you'll be promoted as soon as you know it. Ah! And actually, please don't hurt yourself. That's we funny. some issues with our reputation, and it kind of went downhill recently. Damn pizzeria down the street. Uh -huh. Fazbear's Pizza or something. Somehow it's managed to absolutely destroy our reputation due to them having some sort of robot incident. Are we going to six? Uh, after that discovery, animatronics may just be looked at in a different way. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit unsanitary and rude, but 
Customers are customers. We don't need them. We need their cash. Hello and welcome to your new job at Doug's and Rachel's. We have the best animatronics. That's a glitch. At the lowest prices. And on to the Today second night. Okay. This is your first night at the job. Damn it. Don't. Uh. Hello. Uh. Hi. Uh, welcome back to Doug and Rachel's and uh. Yeah. Um. Company didn't really want me to record any more phone calls after of course the not. first night. But I figured, why not? <sighs> after all, they don't monitor the calls after the first one, so I'm safe to say whatever I want. <laughs> well, for starters, which I'm sure you know by now, the animatronics are really junky. The uh -huh. uh, easiest way to say it is something like performing after hours, but with a bit more of a kick. They seem to actually move around the building, and no one knows why. SHOCKER! Uh, one of the night guards tried to do some investigating himself, with, which probably was the dumbest idea ever. Oh, poor kid. It's safe to say that it didn't end particularly well. Huh. Uh, other than that, nothing really happened recently, although I really shouldn't say that yet. You're a fourth or... The fifth night guard right now. Um, the others being in an unnatural state. One of them even stopped talking and developed some sort of verbal communication problem. Very strange. Huh? Okay. They had to take into some therapist and the family tried suing us. Cool. Uh, despite all their efforts, of course, it didn't work. Nothing ever does. 2 a.m. All it takes is the company's little bit of money before they just wash all the troubles away. God, this guy rambles. I uh, shouldn't question it, and neither should you, for the sake of our job, at least. As hellish as all this may seem, you'll get through it. As hellish? Almost all of us do. Almost all of us do. This, this guy knows what's up. This guy knows exactly what's going on. And now the guy's actually shut up 3 a.m. of the second night. And wow, that first phone call lasted forever. And there's Rachel. Rachel is the only one really moving. The raccoon's not out. Up, oh, dog's out. And I don't know where he is. <gasps> no! Oh, okay, I thought he'd be right there. Okay, we're fine. We are okay. Let's go ahead and check on the little poopit. Right here. Close. Don't want to get jump scared by that because he will rip my brain out. Okay. Well, doesn't seem like things are going to be too hard this night. I mean, I got to 2A. Uh, excuse me, 2A. I got to the second night in the demo, but I never completed it. Oh, hi! Decided to look at me for a sec. Got to, uh, night two in the demo, but never completed it. But it doesn't seem like the characters are moving around as much as they were in the demo at all. So, it looks like we won't be dealing with any of these animatronics really until later. And it's already 4 a.m. And where is the doggy dog? Where is my puppy? I'm a little worried because I don't want him to pop out of nowhere and kill me. But, yeah, the developer in... Uh, I, I guess I was going to use the term improve the controls. I mean, I like how I can now use like arrow keys, not arrow keys, uh, these arrows on the actual game to click and use the mouse to move around, but I still don't like using uh, uh, the, the keyboard to do my bidding. 4 a.m. I actually thought it was going to be 5 a.m. Where are my friends? Oh, they're still way back there? And it's 4 a.m.? What about the raccoon? Raccoon's poking his head out. 5 a.m. Everything is looking fine. Doesn't even look like they'll get to me at all. The piggy pig and the bull weren't doing anything. They're not moving at all. Is anyone going to get up to me? To try to kill me? I mean, if they don't want to, they don't have to. But I'm a little surprised. I guess that the AI is set this low? Oh, where'd the dog go? Oh, there's the puppy. All right, let's go ahead and shut off. Oh, we don't even have to click that. We can just press Z and it closes from anywhere. That I like. That I think is innovative. Yeah, yeah, I hear movements. Probably the dog. Actually, where'd Rachel go? Nope, Rachel in the same spot. You're still poking your head out. Everything's cool, Leo. Yep, there we go. Night two complete. 6 a.m. 
a very silent 6 a.m. I don't get confetti, I don't get a nice little bell of satisfactory. No? Don't you think taking the endoskeletons was enough? Wait, oh shit. Uh, hello? Uh, sorry about that. Just accidentally picked up at the wrong moment. Other than that, uh, welcome back to Rachel's, of course. By now, I'm sure you have the hang on things, so there's actually no point of rambling on. <laughs> I'm actually just surprised you've uh, lasted this long. I mean, oh! It's your job. Thanks! Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, anyways, I I've heard some news lately. Uh, nothing really interesting, of course, you know. Except oh, the fact oh. that the owner is missing. Weirdly. Oh. No one has seen him anywhere in the building. A bit strange, do you think? Uh, not that I really care, just curiosity. You know. You, uh, you wanna know the worst part? What? We won't get promotions without him being here. That I, uh, is an issue. Hopefully, I wish he comes back. For the sake of the promotion, at least. <laughs> yeah, it's stupid to think of getting the promotion by now, though, interestingly enough. Probably due to the fact that the owner doesn't really want to be attached to the company or the mascots for... Something. Really? Maybe he hates this place for whatever reason. Maybe as much as we do. <laughs> I, I know I do. In many ways that you probably not ever imagine. Oh, this place sure does have a shady past. Uh, all, all right. So I think I'm gonna call it quits now. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Let's see ya. Okay, buddy. Love you. Ah! Talk to you later. Oh my goodness. Okay, I heard a. Like, kind of a scrape on the wall. Hold on. Are you gone now? You're gone. Okay. Alright. I got my sound cue of when they leave. Perfect. I wish they banged on it. That would be just so much more, like, decisive. But, uh, can't really change the game at this point. So, uh, what time is it? Third night, 3 a.m., halfway. Hello, piggy pig. And everyone is active at this point. And... There is a camera in the bathroom. Thank goodness that is disabled. Because <laughs> uh, I wouldn't want to have people uh, peeking in on me in the bathroom. Especially if this is a place for children. There should not be cameras in a bathroom for a place for children. Just calling it as I see it. Okay, still 3 a.m. Anyone near me, I guess. The pig's near me, so I need to be worried about the pig showing up really soon. Maybe, possibly. Let's go ahead and check on the poop it. Take care of you. Good. The nights are really short. These are real. I hear ya. These are really short nights. And I do like really short nights. I really, really do. Alright, I guess we're gonna keep doing this until something happens. Maybe the, racco the raccoon is gonna come out of nowhere. 5 a.m. It is 5 a.m. and I'm not being attacked at all. No one's showing up at my door. Ah! I spoke too soon. Mr. Piggy Piggy wants to play. Oh, you, you banged? She bang, she bang? Yes, she does. Yes, she does, Ms. Little Piggy Piggy. Okay. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. The AI in this game definitely needs to be set a little bit higher. Or at least I feel by night three, I should be attacked a little faster, and there you go. D -d -d night, night three complete! Yeah! This is a pretty easy game so far, and I'm actually hoping Nixon goes in and eventually changes up the AI to make this game a little harder. Because I was only attacked once during night three, and I feel like by night three, I should be attacked a lot more than just once. But this game still is pretty awesome. Uh, I mean, the difficulty of it is very low right now, but overall, it is a very appealing game, and the demo really did blow me away. So, we will continue this in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video, it really helps me out. Also, be sure to leave comments in the comment section and subscribe to me, so you can stay up to date with all the other videos that I'll be posting soon. Until the next video, I will see you guys later. Goodbye. I really like the way this game moves, and it actually does feel a lot like, um, what you call it, uh, the joy of creation. Uh, do I dare open it? Hello? Okay. Ah!